In the past, I made pretty decent money when I was dropshipping. So basically just enough to finish school, help my parents, and just not having to worry about having a job. So like I was just able to wake up whenever I wanted and blah, 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 all that good stuff that gurus promise you. But ever since, I realized there's actually a lot more ways to make money online. Like some of them I never even heard of. And some actually seemed a lot easier than what I was doing in the past. So if you literally just go on YouTube and just type in how to make money, you'll see a bunch of videos of people talking about how to make money online with like so many different methods. So today I wanted to test one of them that just seemed a bit too good to be true and then that way you don't have to go and spend your time and try it and then fail and all that stuff because bro like your time is so valuable like if you literally take your time and put it somewhere like that's super valuable like wherever you put it then that's it you're destined to succeed if you actually put it properly so it's like imagine if you put your time in like some dumb dumb stuff but anyway this new method is basically they say you can make money just watching youtube shorts so some of them claim that you can make ten dollars per 11 minutes so i went ahead and actually did the math and i'm just like okay that's basically 54 dollars per hour like you can actually make $54 per hour watching YouTube shorts or as they say you can do so I'm just thinking I'm like okay if I do that for eight hours so eight times 54 that's around $400 per day minimum $400 per day minimum is $12,000 a month so what they're basically saying is that you can make $12,000 a month just watching YouTube shorts so today we're going to be putting that to the test so if this turns out to be better than dropshipping then I'm literally going to retire dropshipping going to retire digital product all that stuff I'm just going to move on to this just watch YouTube shorts and that's it okay so basically after watching a bunch of these videos on how to make money using YouTube Shorts, I realized you don't actually just sit there and mindlessly watch YouTube Shorts because I thought it was going to be like that. I literally thought you're just going to be sitting there mindlessly and you'll just be making $12,000 a month. But sadly, that's not the case. Which, I mean, who freaking in their right mind believes that that's actually the case? So apparently, what you need to do is this. There is a lot of different methods, but basically the method that I wanted to try is that you would basically go on YouTube, just like how I am here right now. And what's funny is that we're not going to type in anything related to YouTube Shorts. I don't know why they say YouTube Shorts because it's not related to YouTube Shorts at all. So we're just going to type in, for example, funny dog compilation or something. So then you see all these videos right here. Like, for example, wait, this is not this is actually not funny dog compilation, which is pretty funny. Who freaking is running an ad <laughs> for a compilation? I don't know why. They're probably making money. I don't know. But you see how this one's like ultimate funny dogs compilation, blah, 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 all these things. So you'd actually go up and you click on filters and you want to basically filter all of this by the view counts. So you want to find like the videos that are like the most popular and they have the most views. So basically, I'm just going to walk you through all the method and I'm going to try it out myself and then I'll show you the results if I do get results. I mean, even if I'm not going to get results, I'll show you that too. So anyway, so for example, let's just say I'm going to pick this video right here because I mean, I like the thumbnail, so I'm just going to pick it. And then basically right here, we're just going to be copying the link. So we copy the link of the video and then we go on Google, YouTube to MP4. And as you can see here, I've already searched that up multiple times. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. You just got to pick one that actually works. So Because you want to basically download the video. You want to download the YouTube video. So for example, I'm just going to click this one. YouTube to MP4 converter. Paste the link. Make sure it's actually on MP4. And then just convert. So now that I have the video downloaded, now you want to go and then actually download the thumbnail. So I'm going to go on Google, YouTube, thumbnail, a downloader but you can't just go here and then like download the thumbnail you can't do that so you have to use like a like a third party app or whatever so this one i've already used so i'm just gonna click on this one so you basically paste the link of the video right here and then you just copy it and that's it or you download it and that's it but the thing is is that you want to pick like the right file so for example this is medium this is small and this is full hd you want to pick the full hd so don't pick one that has like like these black bars and all that stuff so just download this one so I'm going to click download, save image as. So now that we have the video downloaded and then the thumbnail downloaded, we're going to go on this website called fabspot.com. So it basically looks like this. This website, I haven't heard of it until I watched a bunch of these videos on how to make money using YouTube Shorts. So I've never actually tried this website. I'm going to try it in this video. So it says ready to earn from video creation, become part of a large community and create your channel. So if you go down, you can boost your revenue by videos. Basically, it's just like a video sharing platform, just like YouTube. But it's like this one, this one gives you a bit more ad revenue than YouTube. So how does it work? It's like you just upload videos, share them, and then you'll make money from the video content. So then if we go down, you can pretty much see how much uh, you can make from FebSpot. So what they say is that, for example, they say select a number of invite referrals. They never talked about referring people. I have no idea why this is here. But basically, all I'm going to do is just try to upload a bunch of videos and see if it's actually going to get money. For example, it says select a number of views videos plus ads. So let's just say we're aiming to get maybe... 1,000 views, just 1,000 views. It's very generous. And then we go down, it says that we can pretty much make $60 from this. That's the goal. If we can make $60 from this, then that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna click get started. 
and I'll basically make my own account and stuff like that. By the way, I'm not gonna freaking show my email anymore. The previous video I showed my email and I kept freaking getting emails about like, bro, you signed up to this thing, can you confirm your email? Stop freaking using my email. So for my username, I'm just gonna click cute doggy, create your account and that's it. I'll just basically put a password and I'm not a robot. So now I've made the account and as you can see here, I've so far made zero dollars because I just made the account. So I've got zero subscribers, zero total referrals. But if we go down right here, so I go to settings and then here I just want to put like a, like a wallet setting, right? So wallet setting, and then I'm just going to connect my PayPal and that way I can actually get paid when I do make money. So right now we're just going to be posting the first video. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You just basically go here and click add video. Okay, so right here, I'm going to upload the very first video that we're going to upload. So I'm going to go to the file that I had and basically I'll just drag it and drop it. So the video title, I'm going to go back to the previous video right here, like the actual YouTube link and I'm just going to copy this whole thing and then paste it right here and then maybe for the description i can do the same so for example all this stuff right here i'm going to take this and copy it and then stick it in here now for the tags i can pretty much copy all these tags here that i have just copy 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 that's all so i'm just gonna put it here and then one by one pets town pets cute funny cute pets this should be enough this is way too much and for the category i'm just gonna write entertainment and then allow the comments and i agree with all the rules but anyway so this was the first video uploaded we're still at zero dollars obviously because i literally just uploaded it so the goal right now is to basically upload minimum 10 videos and then see if that's basically going to do anything so the goal just 10 videos and if that does anything i'll update you so i just want to show you that today is actually april 3rd so in a few days we'll come back and check the results and we'll see exactly what happened hello and welcome back everybody so now it's been two days so i want to show you the results that i got from watching youtube shorts and just youtube videos so if you just go back in the computer all right so as you can see here my videos are all posted so basically i just went to a bunch of youtube videos that have cute doggies in them and then i took them and i reposted them uh, all over here now first of all you'll notice that I didn't really care about the thumbnails anymore just because for some reason on FebSpot the thumbnails are not working i don't know why the other thing too is that when i actually clicked on similar web you can see that this thing has 1.8 million visitors a month. Like that's actually pretty good. The whole website has 1.8 million visitors a month. But then I'm like, wait, but they're all from Pakistan. Like if you just go down, mostly it's Pakistan, then India, Mexico, and then the US. So I'm like, okay, usually the money is in the US, not in the Asian countries. But anyway, we continue. I didn't post 100 videos just because I posted so far this many videos. And then I'm like, you know, what? I think that's, that's enough of a test. So you can see here, I posted this one, then this one, this one. This one has 11 views. This one has nine views. And this one has eight views. They started to get just a bit more views. And what's funny is that as soon as I posted them, they would get like 10 views or like eight views or something. And then this one has 17 views as well. So I basically just posted 13 videos and then I thought that's good enough of a test. So if we click on dashboard right here, you could see I've made a grand total of zero dollars, literally zero dollars, which I mean, honestly, I kind of expected that just because I did not really have high hopes for this. So I thought 13 videos were actually enough. I was aiming for 100, but then I'm like, I posted the 13 and I'm just thinking, I'm like, is it really worth it to do the rest of the hundreds? If you just go on my balance, you can see my balance is again, literally zero dollars. I did not take out any money. The statistics, if we just look at it, I only spent three days doing this thing. Yesterday basically is where I got the most views, but I didn't really get any money from that. I was aiming to get at least 100 views because our goal was to make $60. So I'm like, if we get 100 views, I'm probably going to make like maximum $6. But seeing that I didn't even make a single cent, I thought this was really not that worth it, to be honest. And just for more proof, right here, you can see I literally made zero dollars. I don't know why you want to see so much proof. I mean, it's just zero dollars, bro. It's just zero dollars. Now, why do you think I actually made zero dollars from this whole experiment? In my head, I already knew I was going to make like not that much money. But the reason why this was literally zero dollars is because think about it, bro. What's the definition of money? Like money is literally a formula. So the formula for money, if you just think about it, it's value times scale. So I don't know where I learned that to be honest from, but I think it was from Alex Ramosi. But money literally is just value times scale. So if you just think about it, value and scale, whatever the number is value and scale is, is going to give you money. So if value was two and then scale was two, you'll get four money. Do you understand me? So let's think about it. So for example, if we take a doctor as an example, one out of seven on a scale of one out of seven, how much value does a doctor have? You could say like five out of seven, like it's very valuable, but five out of seven. So because it's valuable, they're going to be able to make money. But then scale, the scale is like one out of seven because like the doctor is going to have to only be working with patients. So one patient at a time. So as a result, they're going to get one out of seven times five out of seven. They're going to get whatever that number is. But if you think about it, what about a doctor? A doctor who's making YouTube videos. Do you think that doctor is going to make more money than the original doctor that's just working his normal job? That doctor is going to make more money. And why is that? Because the value is still five out of seven, but then the scale is what? 
Well, the scale is like seven out of seven. If he's making YouTube videos, he's going to have so much scale on people. So the scale is a lot more, which means that he's going to be making more money. So this formula goes into anything, value times scale. Now, this experiment that I did right here, just reposting YouTube videos from, from YouTube that are funny and then putting it on Feb spots. So the only way we're going to be making money from this is when we have advertisers putting their ads on our videos. But now if you think about it, it's like, First of all, this whole platform is mostly dominated by people from, from Pakistan and India, like no hate, obviously, but like the, the skill on that is not that much or the value on that is not that much. Now you compare that with people who are in the US who have buying power. If this was the case here, then we, we would have made a bit more money. But obviously that's the case on YouTube, which is why people on YouTube, they make more money than, than Pepspot. And then if you also think about it, okay, the scale is not that much because it's mostly Pakistanis and Indians. But then it's like the value that we're doing in here, like what's the value that we're actually doing? All I'm doing is just putting videos from YouTube that are funny and then putting them here. Like what's the actual value in that? Like if I were to give like a numerical value or a numerical number on that, on the value of that, I would just say it's one out of seven. Like there's nothing valuable in that at all. Now you compare that to someone who has like a dropshipping store. So the scale on the dropshipping store, let's say for example, you're doing TikTok ads, the scale is seven out of seven. Like you have so much scale. So the value on that could be like two out of seven and you'd still be making money. But if your value was like seven out of seven, so if you're selling a product that has a value of seven out of seven, you'd be making so much money. Like that's the definition of a winning product. And then we think about it from like a, a copywriting perspective. If you're a copywriter and you're trying to get clients, so the value on a copywriter is a lot. Let's just say five out of seven, just like a doctor, because every business needs a copywriter to make money and to get customers. But the scale on that, let's say you're just a freelancer. So five out of seven value, but then the scale is like, let's say two out of seven, because you're only working with one client or two clients per month. So the value is five out of seven. The scale is two out of seven. So the money is going to be there. Now you compare that with a copywriter who turned himself into an actual business where he's able to get more and more clients and he has like copywriters under him. And as a result, he's able to do more work because he has actual employees that do copywriting. So the scale on that is like five out of seven. The value is still the same, which is five out of seven. So that guy makes way more money than like a freelancer. So do you understand me? The formula is always the same. Money is just value times scale. So with what I did right here, it has no value and the scale is very low. And as a result, as you can see here, I made zero dollars. I did not make anything on this. But if you compare that to when I was doing drop shipping, I was selling like valuable products, bro. And I was using Google ads, Facebook ads. So the value was there and the scale was even more there. So sometimes you can pretty much get away with it if you have like seven out of seven value and one out of seven scale or like seven out of seven scale, one out of seven value. It's all the same. As long as you increase both, then you're going to be good. As long as also you don't keep both of them low, then you're going to be good. And that's the whole formula for money. So now if you want to see a business that has high value and high skill, I literally made a whole video about it. And what's amazing is that you can start it with literally zero dollars. So if you want to see that business, all you got to do is just click right here on this video so you can see exactly what I did. So I can increase the value and also increase the scale at the same time too. And as a result, I was able to make money.